Hey guys, what's up? Zooch here. Today I'm bringing sort of a, a novel creation. It's not something that I came up with out of whole cloth. I actually saw someone playing this against me on ladder and it blew me away and I was super excited. Someone also sent me a deck list in Twitch while I was streaming at one point, although I didn't uh, write that one down either. So while well, I've taken sort of the main concept from other people's decks, the sort of bits and pieces that I've added into the deck uh, are of my own. Anyway, the uh, overarching concept is Onyx Jaguar plus Jack's True Sight, which we've got in this deck. So uh, I was super excited once someone did this to me in a song high disc deck. He was actually playing Kalios, and he played a, uh, Jack's True Sight, and then he played an Onyx Jaguar and just creamed me. I wanted to take it in a little bit more of a different direction. Uh, this deck is more ranged focused. In fact, we're playing Arrow Whistler, which is exciting to me because I love this card. And along with a bunch of other ranged uh, units. I don't know why this Rust Crawler is in the deck. I I'm literally just seeing this for the first time. I think that was an accident. But I I'm just going to go with it right now. Uh, we've got Keyholder, uh, Sword Avenger, Jaxi sort of the main components, plus Reva's Bloodborne spell. We've got some cards like uh, Primus Fist to sort of pump our guy uh, in case we get you know want to get a couple extra points of damage, get Healing Mystic to heal ourselves. And I wanted to add sort of a, a big Provoke minion to sort of keep our ranged units a, a little safer. So I play, I'm playing three Primus Shieldmaster. And then I've got a smattering of typical Songhai cards, uh, in particular, you know, three Killing Edge to go with all our ranged units. I'm excited to see how it does. I played two games on it uh, earlier today and won both of them despite just horrendous playing myself. So that only bodes well, I guess. We're still sort of um, creeping our way up the diamond uh, ladder. I just haven't been playing as much uh, as I normally do. So don't think it's because I've been, I don't know, failing. Although I've been failing at plenty of things lately. Anyway, uh, I really hope this random Rust Crawler has a moment to shine. I'm not even kidding. I don't know how this is in the deck, but let's go ahead and just jump in. I uh, I don't know what, what to expect, but um, hopefully it's good. All right, see you on the other side. I like Horus. So I guess Horus's eye is what he's referring to. Okay. So we've got a great turn one play, and then a great turn two play, and then a great, I don't know, potential turn two play. We'll see. Um, I kind of want to keep everything here. I could see throwing back the Killing Edge, because if we, you know, if our guys are answered, it's going to be sort of awkward. Although it's nice, like, turn one, turn two, and then if either of these two guys survive, it'll be great. But I imagine this guy will die. <laughs> I imagine this guy will also die. We'll see. I'd rather just have another guy. All right, here we go. Go, go, Gadget, Reva. Hello. Hello. I realized that I didn't get all of the Reva emotes for whatever reason. I forgot the uh, angry emote. I'm not, I don't ever use the sleeping face emote, uh, but I do use the angry emote a lot. Uh, let's get rid of Primus Fist. Ooh, that's not too bad. Uh, although I'm definitely playing Keep Holder here. And I'm going to do this. Put this guy right here. And I'm doing this to protect it. So he can't, like, if I put it, you know, if I come here and put it here, if I even, if I put it right here, um, he could come forward and play, like, a Tusk War and come and get it. Now he can't do that. He needs another two drop to be able to Tusk War it. He definitely can't do it with a Tiger unless he has a one drop, say, Katara. What I imagine is going to happen is that he's going to Phoenix fire it, but we'll see. Or juxtapose it or, you know, any number of obnoxious things could happen here. Okay. That looks like a juxtapose to me. Yep. -er. Not fair. <laughs> Take that. Let's your alchemist already. And a keep a holder of his own. Hmm. Okay. 
Now what do I do? Hmm. <laughs> well, he's only got three cards in his hand. I'm inclined to get rid of... Well, this card seems really good, actually. All these cards seem fine. I, I probably ought to get rid of one of them, though, to try to find a... Uh, I don't know, a Phoenix Fire or something. Hmm. Maybe Arrow Whistler. Dex True Sight. Okay. Well, we could ha we could take a little bit of a gambit here, which is uh, playing our own key beholder to stop this guy. He could shoot trade here, but if he has a Phoenix Fire, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Alternatively, if we play a Lantern Fox, then uh, if he kills it, we can at least get a Phoenix Fire to kill one of these two guys. And then finally, I guess we could play Primus Shieldmaster, but that would definitely let him run away with this Cube Holder. Although we would maybe set up for this Jax next turn. Let's go ahead and kill this here. I'm going to play this Primus Shieldmaster just because it's a little bit more mana efficient. Although, I don't know, any number of things could happen here that would make, just just ruin my day. So let's see what happens. Like a uh, Mist Dragon Seal on this guy just kills this almost by itself. If he, all he needs is one more spell and this would have six power, right? Because he could Bloodborne spell. Ugh. Okay, well, yeah, run away. Kiva Holder's running animation is hilarious, by the way. I hope we get to see it again. <laughs> Onyx Bear Seal. Okay, all right, sure. That's a 3 4. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Well, he used, he used a Onyx Bear Seal, which is kind of nice. Okay, so we're taking four here. I don't know why he took the mana tile. Unless he has another one drop, he's fine. Chakri Avatar's sounds are hilarious. Okay, uh, I'm actually... Okay, what could I do here? I could... Uh, Killing Edge this to take care of that. At which point, what do I want to play? Um, could play Key Beholder to... Probably trade here. Um, oh my gosh. Okay. What I think I'm going to do is get rid of this Mist Dragon Seal. Jaxi is not what I wanted. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, we're dead to anything if we play this Jax True Sight. Not really, but we're dead to most stuff. I think the safest play is just killing edge his guy and then at that point what's the other thing that we do probably play this lantern fox frankly actually i could just do this right so now it can't move and we've got some stuff that can take care of some stuff. I don't know. I, I probably should have put this somewhere else so I could come and hit something. Um, but this let us get away from this guy at least. If he has a Mist Dragon Seal, we're, we are in a lot of trouble, which is annoying, but. Or like a juxtaposition or, or whatever, but. Hopefully he doesn't have that. Well. Oh. Heaven's Clips. Uh oh. Hopefully he doesn't get a Jux. Mm -hmm. 
He could put me to seven. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Am I dead? Well, I think I'm at one. No, I'm dead. Oh my god, stop. <laughs> Alright, well, we are killed on turn four. That's pretty frustrating. <laughs> sure, you can... I'll accept your friend request. Well, that was disappointing. I'd like to think that that is not how the games are normally going to play out, but we'll see. That was so brutal. Golly. That one Chakri. Hmm. Sad Chai. I have a dog named Chai. I know it's probably like Key or something like that. Or whatever. Okay, this is a great hand. That's a great hand. Sure. I probably could have thrown away this Primus Fist, but I don't know. Chaxi. Hmm. Don't move. So I'm doing something a little different this time. I am... Uh, <laughs> I am... Putting it here as opposed to in the corner and blocking it. I don't expect quite as many um, rush minions from Sinus Sage other than maybe Rush's Curse. So I'm not that worried about it. And also this plays around Bone Swarm just slightly. So got that going for me, which is nice. Pax, man. Just stop. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Kind of want to keep this Rust Crawler, just in case. Although we've got a lot of range units, right? Um, we could come here, hit this, and then shoot what he plays. But then what do I do? But then what do I do? I guess I could play this Arrow Whistler. Hmm. I'm not really inclined to kill the packs. Give him a minute to do that himself. That's a nice clean answer to that. I really should have played this first because I think this is what I wanted to play. That was a mistake. Because I don't need to use this just yet. Alright, well, fuck me. Yeah, I should have had another thing on it. What can you do, though? This is a little bit annoying. The fact that it spawned there means that he could uh, a Fermal Shrouder or something like that. Okay. Let's assume for a second that he deals with our guys. What are we going to do? Probably play Bloodborne Spell and Arrow Whistler and try to kill the uh, one of the tutus. No. Is he killing the key beholder? Okay, that's fine. I can. Uh, I can. I, I'm fine with that. Ah, oh, how foolish! Could be a power greater. Um, okay. Shoot. Hmm. Hmm. 
<laughs> okay, I don't want him to get this mana, and I really want to get it. So what we're going to do is this. Put this here. Shoot this guy. Put this here. Put this here. And then key beholder this guy. This way we've made it so we, the the only thing he can kill is our Jaxi with his general. And I don't care if he kills that, right? <laughs> this would be a pretty annoying Star's Fury, but I don't think I could have played around it any better without giving him value, just letting him attack something, so... Sort of annoying in that regard. <laughs> Sunset Paragon. So the missed point of damage was a moot point the whole time. Good to know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I'm just going to go ahead and play this Jax. Yeah, I really should have planned this out a little bit better. Story of the fucking weekend. Uh, okay. Yeah, I put this here. Let's see. I don't want this to die. Because I would lose my... How many Jaxes? All right, let's shoot this guy and shoot him for one. I, I needed to come here. That was really foolish running away. I, I shouldn't have done that. But man, I'm not playing very well right now, am I? Goodness gracious. Hopefully, most of my guys survive, and uh, I'm able to turn this arrow whistler into a, a deadly fighting force. And to be fair, he was going to kill a ranged unit regardless, so not really... I guess I don't really care. <laughs> An Aymara healer. Okay. Hmm. I want this. And I probably don't need this. I've got so many ranged units at this point. Okay. <laughs> Do I want to use this? I don't think I do, because if I use Primus Fist... No, it's not going to save it. Well, Primus Fist will let me get another guy out, which is nice. That, that is nice. I'm doing that so that, uh, man, I really need to hurry. All right. Well, we've got a gajillion guys on the board and they're all really good. So how do we die? <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Wildfire Ankh plus Staff of Ykir plus two tears, R Rasha's Tears. All right, take that. Corpse combustion. Sure. It's so random. That's annoying. <laughs>
Uh, how close to dead is he? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> he just gets see. All right, we won. <laughs> All right, let's go into game number three. Here we are. Game number three. First time we've seen this bad boy. Maybe I should just keep it though. Meh. Yeah. Bingo. All right, I'm gonna look at my messages. I got a message I gotta peek at. We're back. Let's see. Don't need this, that's for sure. Uh, I don't have to worry about any bullshit over here, do I? No. Let's put this bad boy way over here. I mean, likelihood is that he's going to demonic lure it and kill it, right? But I don't need to, like, put it up in the corner. He doesn't have a tiger in his deck or anything like that. The ZJ. That is an interesting name that he has. Demonic lore. Boo hiss. <laughs> Take this. Okay, what do I do? Hmm. Hmm. I am kind of inclined to play the Sworn Adventure, but I don't want him to get this mana, so I'd have to play this Primus Fist here. Hmm. I don't want to play the key beholder. I need to save that. Uh, my other option is playing this uh, Prima Shieldmaster. I'd like to save that. I don't want to throw anything away. His hand seems pretty solid. So I think I'm just going to do the following. I don't really like getting rid of... Uh, I don't really like getting rid of this Primus Fist just to, to throw out a body, but so so be it. Now hopefully we can just start picking people off with this Sworn Avenger. Why is this card not Seymour play? This card's great. You can pick off my uh, Primus Fist. No sweat. Although if he does so, it'll sort of prevent him from doing anything cool, like playing Abyssal Juggernaut. Yeah, Sure. Sojourner. That's what I predict is next. Blood Tree Alchemist. No. Oh, okay. So he used his ping already, which is great, which means that this Arcane Heart is all set to go. You need to kill this dummy. You get to kill this guy. Uh, and if I take a step back, I can put this a little bit further away from him. So let's do just that. And I think, again, I like all these cards. I could see getting rid of Lantern Fox just because... I don't know. I don't know why I would get rid of Lantern Fox at all, but... And then next turn I can play both of these if, since I'll be on six mana. So I'll save it. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. Kailano. Kailano yet again. Up closer this time. This time it's personal. Abyssal Juggernaut. That's a 7-7. Seven, seven. That's a 2-1. 4, 5, 6. It's an 8-8. Eight, eight. So, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm. I think I just 
keep a hold of this guy. Uh, yeah, this seems pretty good. Putting this in a spot where he can't come up and uh, he can't grasp a Vagni up. Keep him locked down. We're going to move this guy down here. Shoot that. Move this over here. Move this over here. Attack him. And he's getting close to dead. Kind of want to just put this on a, like right here, on a Shadow Creep tile so I can get a Phoenix Fire. I could do that. Why not? He's almost dead, right? You're like, he's so close to dying. I haven't even shot with this guy yet. Yeah, I could do that, sure. Yeah, he's at 8 now. Unless he has some sort of unforeseen way to move this guy. I think he's probably dead. Like, even if he has Kailano here. He plays Kailano, pings this. Gets another point. Goes to 10. Kills this, goes to 11 minus 3 is 8. He's almost just dead on board still. I think, he's, think, I think he is. But then we're going to have three Phoenix Fires. Now, what's the best case scenario for him? Breath of the Unborn. That'd be pretty good. But even if he does that, I still get... Still get three Phoenix Fires in hand. And bleh. Breath of the Unborn. Yeah, okay. I do not care. I could have Demonic Lore. Ah, okay. That's, that's good. Pretty sneaky, sis. Yeah, like I said, though, I'm pretty sure it's all a moot point. <laughs> Beep. Boop. Boop. Alright. Take that. And one of these. And a couple of these. Oh, we had a ton of extra damage. Oh my. Victory. Oh, victory. All right, we got, uh, I guess we got one more. I forgot if I was doing three or four videos from now on. It's gotta be four, three is too short. So hopefully we win this, the final match of the day. I'm so fly. Is this guy's name? I keep throwing this guy away. Sorry, buddy. We'll get him. We'll get him at some point. Wow, I kind of just want to keep all of these, uh, all these Primus Fists. I'm going to drop this Jaxi right here. I think I keep everything, right? Uh, these these aren't great. These aren't that great. But I could I could throw this away. I, I kind of want to keep both of these so that if he plays a Silver Guard Knight, like right here, I can come forward and just wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Kill it. <laughs> I don't really... I don't love the idea of the uh, Mist Dragon Seal in this hand, although it's just a great card in general, especially against Lionar. This card I need in case he doesn't put anything over here so I can play out a 4-drop. I could see getting rid of one of these. It's just such a nice card to have. And the, the Silver Guard Knight thing is such, like, a really small chance of that actually happening. I don't, uh, 
I don't actually foresee that being something I need to worry about, but we'll see. Windblade Adapter. Azurite Lion. Okay, I will get one rid of one now, though. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I could come here and then play out one of these four drops. It doesn't seem very good, especially since I can kill this guy off with either my general and the Jaxi or just the Jaxi and the Primus Fist. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'm going to do is play this Primus Fist somewhere where this can't hit it on the first go. Maybe down here. And then I'm going to Miss Dragon Seal this if I need to. Nope. Uh, just come down here. If he has an Ironcliff Guardian here, that'd be super annoying. If he has an Iron Cliff Guardian, that would be frustrating. I wish we had had a three drop in our hand that last turn so we could have just played that, like played the key beholder. If we had used our general and the Jaxi and then played a key beholder to stop the, t the lion, ah, oh, that would have been great. <laughs> but we didn't. This turn, fortunately, presuming we get this mana tile, which is not. It's not a pipe dream. It's probably unlikely, but uh, yeah. We could play a four drop in our Bloodborne spell or just play a four drop. One of the two. Oh, wow. Not going to get the fifth mana. That's good to know. Does this play Holy Immolation? This seems like a bad play. Because now I, I just get to kill it. I mean, he might not have had anything else he could have done. So, like, I'm not... I'm not overly critical of this play. Uh, if, the, if that was like all he had, I mean, that's all he had. But now I get to just go nutso with my plays. And I think I want to get rid of, I got to get rid of one of these things. One of these things, guys, right? Let's get rid of one of the Mist Dragon Seals, right? Yeah. Okay. This next turn, I can play Arrow Whistler and then Phoenix Fire to clear out an Ironcliff Guardian. Potentially. Okay. What's the best play? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, cannot do it right this second. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Okay. I can do it with Arrow Whistler and Mist Dragon Seal. If I Mist Dragon this guy up here. Right? Two. Yeah. Which leaves me this mana for another turn, which is kind of nice. Um, let's go ahead and play around... Sunbloom, since we can. Well, we're at 14, but we've got board control. Next turn we can play both Key Beholder and Arrow Whistler, which is nice. Or, you know, something else, but... Uh, oh, so excited. How exciting. 
oh, got visible, uh, excite, excited. Can't even talk straight. <laughs> Don't kill my guy. Okay, he was replacing. Good, good. I feel pretty good. Um, it is a little annoying. Oh, shit. Okay. Slow. Sure. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. What's the likelihood of me dying here? One, two, three, four, five. Get a seven. I get a seven, and then how does he kill me? I guess my point is I could play this Jack's true side out, and then next turn play Onyx Jaguar and blow him out. I could also just play this Onyx Jaguar now, and then get out of this pickle. Not the worst play either. All right, how does he kill me from seven? Tiger plus Holy Immolation. Let's just do this. Playing so conservatively. Ah, uh, you know what I should have done? I should have played the Arrow Whistler, shot those, t shot this the slow, then came up and played the Key Beholder to stop the uh, that guy. Oh well. Sort of played into Sunbloom here inadvertently, just going fast. I should have moved this guy forward one. Hope that doesn't come in to bite me in the butt. Hope it doesn't bite me in the butt. If I had a dollar for every time I said that. Literally about butt biting. Lasting judgment. Okay. Martyrdom. No. Well, it looks like we had had a really good uh, play if we had just played the Jacks. Oh, well. Although now we are at... F <laughs> We're at f 15, and now we can play this Jacks. And as long as he doesn't have... As long as he doesn't have Tempest, this is great. As long as he doesn't have Tempest, this is great. I'm going to get rid of the Sworn Avenger. Yeah, okay. Putting this here, because he's going to be able to kill something anywhere. This prevents him from following me, if that's a relevant factor. Brown. <laughs> guess let's put this here. And I guess I'll leave this here. Man, you better have that Tempest. Nope. All right. Well, we are going to crush him. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on our turn. Nice. All right. Well, there we go. We went 3 and 1, uh, losing the first match to how did we lose the first match again I don't, I don't quite remember we won the the two previously um before <laughs> before i played or did the video <laughs> i forget what we lost here too but oh it was the <laughs> turn one chakri avatar that just like clocked us for a gajillion anyway i hope you guys enjoyed i uh plan on trying to come up with some more content once the expansion drops including maybe a detailed video analysis of the new cards i probably will write up something for one of the many sites that produce duels content these days and i don't know 
follow, like, subscribe, etc. to all of my various social media platforms, and good things will come to you in the new year if you do. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.